What's going on everyone? This is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com and there's a few applications I want to show you that came out recently for the Surface RT that I think you might find useful and also I want to say that after two weeks of owning the Microsoft Surface RT I have no complaints. I am truly satisfied with this purchase and I highly recommend the Surface tablet if you're in the market for one. Being an original iPad owner. I owned the iPad when it first came out and everyone was calling it a huge iPhone or iPod Touch. I found a lot of, uh, I felt really uh, sure and confident that the iPad was going to be successful. Not that my predictions were the cause of its success, but because I felt so confident that the iPad was going to succeed, the purchase was easy. With the Microsoft Surface RT, it's very versatile, it is beautiful, everything works, and I have strong feelings about the future of the Microsoft RT platform. Now the pros coming out is going to allow you to install all types of applications, and a lot of reviewers for some reason use that, uh, use the fact that you cannot install full-blown Microsoft Windows 8 applications or even 7. This is a tablet. This is not meant to be able to install applications, exe files, uh, and they use that as a negative. Uh, to be fair, on the iPad, you cannot install Mac, iMac applications. So if you're going to review and criticize something for some of the things it doesn't do, you should take into account the other tablets that don't do what you're penalizing the Surface RT for not doing. I don't know if that made sense. Anyway, really quick, the integration with Xbox Live is awesome. At one point, I was even thinking of taking the Surface RT back because of all the negative reviews, the hype people were giving the Nexus 10 and obviously i like to read up on my devices and i was getting caught up on some of the negative reviews that were conflicting with the feelings i had and when i was playing angry birds star wars and i heard the familiar chime of uh an xbox live achievement uh any doubts i had went out the window because i have 10 years of xbox live experience and memories invested so this particular device the surface rt keeps me connected to xbox live so i find that awesome speaking of xbox live if you're an, a halo fan gives a war fan if you have been uh, a member of xbox live for some time you'll recognize the name trixie she used to do a lot of videos on Xbox Live. She used to be in a lot of events, launch events, or either E3 or PAX. Recently, she created her own book. This is the second one. This one is called Schooled, a Lexi Cooper video game mystery. And the reason why I bring it up is not only to show my support, you can find it on Kindle for $6.99. But it's a video game mystery. You can't go wrong with that. And a lot of it is actually uh, a lot of it is centered in uh, a company that is very familiar to Microsoft. And the platform and the games sound awfully familiar. Some of the characters might even sound familiar, depending how deep into Xbox Live you are. So check it out. Now, really quick, I wanted to show two new apps that I downloaded. Uh, actually, three. The first one is the Nook app that just recently came out. Number one, it is very sleek. It goes with the whole uh, slide UI, Metro UI whatever Microsoft wants to call it. Now, 
this is my son's account. So these books that you're seeing aren't mine, and I swear to that. But it shows you what you've read or previewed. So I'm going to go to Batman, and I just want to show you guys how sleek this interface looks like. All right, so swipe up for the menu. You go to the first page, and then you can enjoy some of the amazing art. Now, this is a preview. I didn't download the full comic, which I'm going to do in just a bit. But as you can see, it gives you a new reading experience, and it goes hand in hand with the metro uh, with the metro operating system and some of this artwork is amazing and with the surface rt screen which in the reviews a lot of people say it's not retina but tell you what the colors the lack of glare when I'm reading in the in, on the subway or in the street. And believe me, I've taken this thing everywhere. I've given it the full test. This screen is really nice. I can do everything I need on this screen. And it's it feels like a high quality screen. The whole device feels high quality. So, you'll get comic books, magazines, books, all types of things newspapers the kids walking dead you can download a preview free sample or buy the book and I tell you what everything works flawless and it's nice to see that the Nook the Nook application is finally here it wasn't here during launch now a lot of the comics aren't going to look like the Batman comics and you can also, uh, if you want to read on a different angle, it will work as well. The next application that I downloaded was Bento. If I could find it here, I believe this is it. Okay, so Bento News is similar to Pulse. If you if you've uh, let me swipe down and go back to it. If you have Pulse on your iPhone or Android phone, you're familiar with Pulse. It allows you to take various news articles from the internet and place them in one app where you can find everything. What I like about News Bento is that it'll take some uh, images of the most recent news articles and create a slideshow. And it gives you a little description of what you're viewing. And it'll tell you when it was last uh, refreshed or published. It's really sleek. And I don't have many because I just downloaded this. So I have The Verge, Mashable. You can put in your own RSS feed. You can actually, I believe... Let me see if I can get to this. I guess not. You got to go to more news and you go to Google Reader. So you can actually add a Google Reader and customize it to your liking. You got to sign in and do all that good stuff. And the last one I want to show you guys before I go. I like to watch a lot of movies. And I... I use a lot of AVI files. So here is Format Converter, Converter X. You can actually convert music or movies into formats that work. Be aware though, some of, uh, for example, I to test it out, I converted one movie to 720p and the movie itself was six gigabytes after conversion. So just be aware of that. Uh, either get a portable hard drive or a micro SD 
card that you can put into your Surface XT and just store it away when you when you're done viewing it. So hopefully, if you're a Surface RT owner, some of these apps are something that you've been waiting for. Check out the store. There, they they seem to be updating the app list on a somewhat daily basis. So check it out. Let me know what you think. If you're still on the bench about purchasing a Surface RT, keep viewing my videos. Hopefully you're, you're a subscriber. If you enjoyed some of the information that I provided to, uh, to you today, let me know by liking it or leaving me feedback on the comments section. So once again, I am JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com. Take care.